Hello, I'm back with another video. The drywall is completely finished and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough. This area will probably be a little mini bar, popcorn machine, and uh, movie paraphernalia type stuff. Into the theater room, which has natural lighting, so it looks a little different. Nice big screen going in. The closet under the stairwell. Back here, the uh, subwoofers and speakers are going to go. I still have a light to put in up here. Down here, I just want to go real quick. This is the um, where all of the speakers are going to come in to the theater wall area. You got the left, right, center, two subwoofers. The uh, roto zip was uh, just chewing up this plastic box. These are cheap plastic boxes. So, what I ended up doing was getting this little thing here from Amazon. It has these little pegs and then when you're putting the drywall up you just kind of line it up and push the drywall up to it and it'll stick in and then you pull it out and then it's going to leave those holes behind and then what you do is just trace them out and cut them out with your drywall knife It'll make a little bit nicer cut, but that's a more time-consuming process. And then in the, the media room, down here I have the illustrations of how I plan on hooking up all the little boxes. Gonna go right up in here. That's a blue jean subwoofer cable. That's gonna be connected to that. It's gonna be nine channels of um, surround in here. Uh, this box is gonna be a 20 amp. And it's gonna have various um, connections into this um, server room. Here I kind of had to keep track of everything I was doing so I know how to hook it all up. And what we have here, this is pretty much going to be the media wall. So when you're looking at that, it's going to be this area here. And I've already got those subwoofers built. And then there's going to be the speakers, uh, AV amp, gaming consoles, things like that. I'm going to have all the uh, custom speaker wires put together too, eventually, with all the leftovers that I have from the cables that I ran in the wall. These are going to, these items are going to go into the to-be-built to area, which is this wall with the TV. Uh, that's going to be uh, a lot of woodwork, so. And then here I've got the coax and the HDMI cables that are also run directly into the server room. Um, all the surround speakers. And then the ceiling speakers. 
Got the hole cut out for the projector. More surround speakers. Ceiling. Um, all of the outlets are gonna be black in this room. Black cover plates, black switches, and I got decorative covers, which should help reduce any light reflection. The room's gonna be painted in black, Roscoe TV paint, so it should be pretty dark. I'll probably be putting some felt in there as well at some point. So here's the server room. Gonna have all my computers, gaming PC, server, uh, network attached storage. It's all gonna be hooked up back here. Uh, and then again, these are the HDMI cables that are ran into the media room. They're gonna be hooked directly into the gaming PC. And I'm just gonna be using this and running the cables through that. And then here I'm just going to have two separate lines for 20 amp circuit to run power to the amps and to the AV system separately. There's all the speaker wires that you saw from the previous video. Um, this is also the blue jeans cable coming from the other room. And down here I've got the, all the speaker connections. You know, that's going to go there. And this is all the connections going back to the switch and to the media room, which are going to go right there. And then this is going to be the um, speakers coming in and going back out to the media room. So. That's about it. And then we have a dual plate over here. And then that switch controls that area. So three way, the other switch over there will turn these back on. And then on the outside of this area, I've got all the remnant pieces, which are around 48 to 58 inches. Just kind of scraps to fill in this back wall to not waste a lot of material. And then back here is going to be a work area. Another light put in. And that's about it. Got my Sano tubes ready for my Odin subwoofer builds, which I'm going to start in a couple months. These are six foot tall, gonna have 18 inch drivers in them. There's the other one. And those will be going behind the media wall, which is gonna be an acoustically transparent screen. And everything should be hidden quite well back there. So next, next thing to do is fill. I've got uh, Sheetrock 90 ready to go. And I'm going to be filling in all the gaps and cracks and spaces that would otherwise not be there if it were a better quality install. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.